Okay, so this is a review of <clears throat> Math Lessons for a Living Education Level 6 by Master Books, Angela O'Dell. And there's not very many videos out there that show you, my oldest daughter has claimed it, that show you a lot of detail. We just got these in. We are starting today. And it starts with review, and it goes through, you can kind of see here. A lot of really good real life math. Like you know this is going to help them when they're an adult. Um, it shows you a list of supplies. As you can tell my daughter's gone through checking off the things that she already has. Um, and I like that. So we know exactly what we're going to need for this year. And uh, we can gather it up and store it until we need it. Shows you how to use this book. Um, the quizzes will be in the parent book has little Bible verses here and there, which we all love. So it starts off with a little story. You could have your kids read it to themselves. You can read it all together. Um, we like doing things together. Gives you some vocabulary. Um, you could write on a little index card because that's one thing they want you to get is index cards and a little box. So anyway, this is all just review, right? Starting out with book six, it's recommended for sixth grade. Um, your kids should definitely know all of this by then. It starts off with addition and whole numbers and um, then it just moves kind of at a good pace through. Make sure you have all your division. See, there's division, multiplication, subtraction, addition. Make sure that you know all that really well so that way you're not lost. It gives you examples of how to do it in case they need a little brush up. So here's whole numbers in the real world, another story for lesson two. And I won't do this for every lesson because it would take too long. But like even here, bringing it to life. So it wants you to go and read the story of Gideon and Judges and talk about the numerical meaning and all that. What do they talk about for numbers in there? And it wants to know. So my kids were excited when they saw that question. And here, you get to add money. So anyway, you can tell it starts off with review, but it does get to more complex things. So like we can skip way back here, day 70. You are adding fractions. Okay, and then it starts getting unlike denominators in there for you. What I really liked was how real life it is. So like in here, it shows you how to write a check. Um, it asks for you to ask your parents how much they spend on bills every month so that you can know how much they need to have saved for that. It asks you to add up a grocery budget. It gives you a list of everything you're going to need to buy, how much those items are, and how much you're going to need. It even talks about taxes on those items. Um, so it's like real life stuff. I feel like it's going to be really helpful. Use your noodle. Draw a doodle. I want you to illustrate things. And it talks in here about the importance of <clears throat> using their words to explain the math problems. And so some of the problems are go talk to your teacher or parent and explain how you do certain, certain problems. So that talks about money. So here it gets into scales. See like here, things that I know all of you parents know you need to understand out there in the real world. Okay, I'm sorry, my camera doesn't want to focus. So that continues. Okay, here we have shopping list. Here's how much it costs. You have a coupon for certain things it talks about, right? So how much are you going to end up paying when you get done? How much did she save? <clears throat> there's how, how do you write a check? And there's more of these little checks throughout here. How would you write this amount of money in, as a fraction, as a decimal? So I just thought all of this was really neat. I think it's my favorite. 
<clears throat> part of the book. And it gets back here, it gets to all types of measurements and angles and has radiuses in here, shapes, so lines and how they intersect, you have graphs, so like things you would need would be a, a protractor um, and a compass, things like that. And then, like here, just where it shows. And in the very back, um, you end up, you put these in little page protectors. So you can use them as reference. They won't get all messed up. We haven't moved them over yet, but. And you know, you can get manipulatives that match this exactly. So you can move them around. Or by the time they get to six, they probably don't need too much help. But, And then this shows you the opposite. Anyway, so this book, so far, we haven't started. But just looking through, it looks like it's going to be our favorite. It's just so real life. And we are very excited to start it. A lot of the beginning is review. Um, but it goes a little deeper and it makes sure they really understand it because they have to be able to explain everything to you. Um, and so I just feel like it's going to help deepen their understanding of things that they have already learned, but they maybe just can get a better grasp on it and then, um, and then learn some new things. They're going to know how to budget and how to take measurements, um, like radiuses and stuff. So yes, we are very excited. So now you have kind of an inside view of this book. So you can tell if it will work for you and your kids or not. But I would definitely, definitely try it. And we'll come back after we've used it for a little bit and maybe give a review of how we're liking it so far. There you go. So definitely try those out.